guys welcome back to my channel and um, I found this beautiful lace we're gonna start with this as you can see really like this now when you cut it apart um, each little individual piece I'm gonna be able to use these to make some angel wings and um, as you can see they're very flimsy this way so what I did was I got out the triple thick I'm going to cut them all apart like this and flip them over and I'm going to put a coat of triple thick on them. Now once you put the triple thick on, as you can see it's much stiffer. So what I have to do is cut these apart and put a layer of triple thick and then I will place them on Reynolds Wrap and let them dry. Once they're dry we can move on to the next phase. Now this is the start of the next phase. As you can see I have stacked um, three uh, on each wing and then I was just playing around with the idea of maybe using the jewel at the top. I'm not sure about that yet uh, but I did want to just let you know uh, where I'm at in the process right now. Um, I do need to cut apart all of my lace and start putting the triple thick on. Um, this little one was just a test to make sure it was going to work and it worked fine. So We'll be back whenever we're ready to start putting some angel wings together. Okay, I have started putting the triple thick on. Now instead of using this, um, I have poured that into an empty paint bottle that I had, a squeeze bottle so it's easier to use. Okay, so I've laid out my pieces of lace here. So I'm just going to be, we'll start down here. I think you can still see that. I'm just squeezing out some of the triple thick. I use a toothpick to hold my lace in place. And I found a really soft, uh, inexpensive makeup brush. Because they're soft, they work much better than just a regular craft paint brush. And then I move that down. And I just keep going. Okay, so I have a nice coat of triple thick on all of my pieces of lace and these really will probably need to cure overnight. Uh, that way they'll be nice and hard. So um, we'll get back on this tomorrow. Now I did want to show you one thing that happened. I think it'll come through on the camera okay. You can see this is a very pretty lace. Um, some of the pieces of lace discolored a little bit. Um, Kind of took on a yellow hue and uh, but not all of them I don't know if that's coming through in the camera or not uh, I don't know if that's coming through in the camera or not but um, it did it did do that so um, maybe you can even tell in the bowl how some of them look a little yellower than others but um, because of that I'm not going to be able to use them just as a um, just as a set of wings per, like this with not much done to them. What I'm going to have to do is um, embellish them quite a lot. And so, for example, this one had a lot of discoloration. So I went ahead and covered it with um, decoupage and then sprinkled the glitter on to help uh, dis disguise that a little bit. And I went ahead and put it on the back as well. Okay, and then we're going to work on embellishing maybe with some rhinestones or maybe just a bow. I'm uh, not sure yet. But I did want to kind of show you what happened when I put the triple thick on the lace. Now, um, that is your uh, typical wings that I use where they're a closed wing. They're coming in in an oval pattern. And what I did was take the, the longest wing. I added one that's a little shorter and then the shortest one and just sort of worked with them until I was happy with the curvature did the opposite as well and then glued them okay what we're doing now looking at another option with it and that is where the wings are going to be 
um, spread out in flight, if you will. And so I kind of like the way this looks. I went ahead, once I got it the way I liked it, I raised a wing up, put some glue on, raised the other, put the glue on so that it held it for me. So now all I have to do is use these, the opposite side, and just kind of mimic what I did there. Um, I'm gonna take this one, we need to cut off the little. Okay. All right, and we wanna just kinda line it up with this one. And I can see that this sticks out just before the start. So it's gonna be something like that. And then this one is gonna lay on top of that. I've got three points showing. So it's something like this. And then just kind of match them. And see, this looks like it's spread out a little more. Okay, so once I get them like I want them, Okay, then I'm going to hold it. I'm going to lift this and put some glue underneath. And then I'm going to lift this one, put some glue underneath. And then just hold those down until that glue sets. Now once that has set up, all I'll have to do is maybe overlap just enough to put some glue in there. And I have my set of wings out of the lace. Okay, I'll go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there. It's not going to take a lot, and then I'm going to pull these over. Hold that just a few seconds until that sets. Okay, and then the same, I'll be adding the bale as the hanger, um, and then I'll be determining whether I want to cut uh, cover it with the glitter if I'm going to be using rhinestones or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and at least get my wings put together and then we'll embellish them later. So um, here is one and this one has the little cross hanging in the middle and it's hanging this time um, off of a loop so that it does dangle. Alrighty, and then I also used, of course, the little rhinestone stud and ribbon on this one as a hanger. I think the ribbon is delicate with the lace or really with these uh, wings in general. Okay, and then this one is basically the same. It's one that I have started but not finished. I'm just going to lay it there with it. And then here we have this one with the three pearls and the cross is more stationary on this one. It's not going to move around. This one, uh, the only real difference in these is this is the iridescent glitter. This one is also the iridescent, but it has um, the larger flakes on it as well, just scattered on top. And this one I wanted to show you, especially if you like shabby chic or if you have a pink and burgundy tree. Um, this is a pink, a light pale pink glitter, but it has a little bit of silver and uh, iridescent running through it, so it's not overwhelming, but the pink is quite pretty. And so I did want to at least show you that one. Now all of these have the wings kind of cradling in, um, and that I like that one, especially with the cross hanging down. I just think that's precious. And then I was experimenting with the wings and wanted to open them up as well. So I've done a few others here. So we have this one where the wings are spread. Um, it's almost like they're in flight at this point, you know, the way that they spread out. But I thought that was also a pretty ornament. And then another one like that. But I added some little rhinestones to really bounce the light. And then we also put a cross hanging um, down in the center of this one. And the others are still unfinished, but um, that's the two um, styles. They're either the cradled wings or um, they're going to be wings that are spread out. So I'm just working on finishing these up. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching the video. I hope this inspired you, and I'll be back next week with another Christmas ornament.